Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to math today. Today for our math lesson, you will need your Envisions math book, a pencil, and some crayons. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends. Today we're gonna to turn to page 43 for our solve and share. 44 will be our guided practice. Page 45 will be your independent work that you're gonna pass post to your teacher's Google Classroom. And then we'll do page 46 together with our challenger. So go ahead and turn to page 43. All right. If you're on page 43, give yourself two thumbs up. Then put your hands on your head. And when I say hands on top, I want you to say, everybody stop. Ready? Let's try it. Hands on top, everybody stop. Now hug your hands, put them on the table in front of you, and put your eyeballs over here. This is our learning target for today. Our learning target says, I can use zero, which is a number, to show there are no objects. So today we are going to practice counting and showing the number of boxes to match like we've done before, but we're gonna see that there are some groups that have zero, nothing at all. So let's look right here at my magnets. Let's count how many there are, ready? One, two, three, four, five. There are five magnets in this group in a row, okay? Now I'm gonna mix them up. Now let's count how many there are. Ready? One, two, three. There are three magnets, magnets in this group, but they are not in a row. They're in a bundle in a bunch here, okay? Now let's count how many I have. Oh, I just have one, okay? Now how ma many magnets do you see? Zero. There are no magnets here. The number zero represents none. Our zero looks like the letter O, but it's a number. It's a zero. Or some friends sometimes get it confused with the shape of a circle. But since it's a number, we call it a zero. And when we say our zero rhyme, we say down to the left to find my zero, back to the top. Oops, I'm sorry, we're gonna try that again. The rhyme says, down to the left to find my hero, back to the top I've made my zero. And that is our zero, okay? And we'll practice that number rhyme as we practice making that number together. Today we're just going to be counting and showing how many. All right, thanks for bearing with me, friends, as sometimes we make mistakes, which is why we use pencil. And I know the other day when we were counting our bees that I accidentally counted one of the holes on the beehive as a bee. So thanks for bearing with me and just rolling with the punches. We're all in it together. All right, so let's take a look at our guided practice page on page 43. It says that Alex is in a vegetable garden and he does not see any potatoes in the basket. The basket is empty. How can Alex color the boxes to show that there are no potatoes in the basket? Okay, so he's in the garden looking for those potatoes, but he doesn't have any. There's none at all in his basket. So what should he do to color his boxes to match that? Should he color any at all? No, the answer is no. Because if we color one box, then it would show, oh, he has one potato in his basket. If we color two boxes, it would mean that he had two and so forth. But he doesn't have any at all. So we leave the boxes blank so that we know, oh, there are zero potatoes in his basket. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip to the guided practice on page 44 on the back. In this lesson, we're going to see plates with different types of food on it that we're going to count. What do we do every time that we count when we're using paper and pencil? We mark out, good. So we are going to count and mark out our objects on the plate. 
Ready? Let's start with our apples. One, two, three. How many apples are there? Three. We're gonna color the boxes to match. Remember, when we color, we color in order and we go from left to right. They've already showed us an example. We're just gonna color it to practice. So let's count. One, two, and three. Remember to color one at a time and not scribble scrabble across the boxes. It's important for us to count so that we know it matches the number. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video to color those boxes. If not, let's move over to number two. Look at the plate right there. Do you see any fruits or vegetables or food on this plate? I don't either. So what number represents none, zilch, nothing at all? The number zero. We're not gonna write the number zero because the directions tell us they want us to match the boxes to our plate, our object. We don't see any food on our plate, so that means we don't color any of the boxes. There are zero. Can you make the zero with your hand? Very good job. All right, let's go ahead and turn to the next page. On the next page, page 45, you will have a chance to do this on your own. You're going to count and mark out the fruit on each plate, and then you're gonna color your boxes to match. We're gonna skip this for now. So wave to this page and say, we'll be back. And flip to page 46. At the bottom, you'll see a four and a six. Okay? We're gonna start at the top with number nine, with our flower base. I don't see any flowers in this vase or any plants. To color the vase to match, to color the boxes to match the vase, I don't color anything at all because there are no flowers in that vase. So I'm gonna leave the boxes blank. Moving over to number 10 though, Inside of this vase, I see one flower. So let's count and mark that out. Ready? One. Okay. So how many boxes do we need to color to match that? Just one. So let's go ahead and color one box. Okay. Let's move down to number 11 now. How many flowers do you see? Let's count and mark them out. These are small, so we need to be very careful with our lines. I'm gonna count one, two, three. Look how little my lines are as I mark them out. How many flowers did we count? Three. So we're gonna color three boxes to match. One, two, and three. Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, we're gonna have to really use small lines to count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many flowers did we count? Five. Remember to color one at a time to match. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. If you need to pause the video to give yourself more time to color to match, go ahead and do that now. If you're ready to move on, let's go to number 13. How many flowers do you see in that vase? Zero. Our number that represents nine is zero. So how many boxes do we color? Zero. We leave them blank. We can look at these white boxes and see, oh, that matches because there are none. Zero flowers. Let's move to 14 and count those. Ready? One, two. Let's count one, two, 
Let's color our first two boxes. One. And two. Good. Make sure you're going in order from left to right. We don't want to skip any because it's easier for our eyes to tell when we look at this row of boxes that the first two are colored in. That means there are two flowers in the vase. If we jump around, it's confusing to our eyeballs. Okay. And then let's come to the challenger. Our last problem down here tells us we're going to pick a number between zero and five and draw that mini and then color the boxes to match, okay? So let's draw two flowers so that we're all doing the same thing. We're gonna use our shapes to draw and match. For our flowers, I'm gonna start with the center with a circle and then I'm gonna draw little ovals for the flower petals to attach to it. So I have the flower part, and then I'm gonna draw the stick for the stem. And since I'm going to draw two, I'm gonna do the same thing next to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, that one took me nine times to go around. That has a lot of petals. And then I'm gonna draw the stem. Okay. And now I'm going to count and mark out my flowers after I draw them to make sure I just have two. So I have one, two, and then I'm going to color my boxes to match. One, and two. Do the best you can with your shapes and your flowers and make sure you mark them out to, to know that you did two flowers, not too many and not too little of amount. Okay, and then after you color those two boxes. All right, if you need more time to do that, go ahead and pause the video to do so. If not, if you are ready, you are going to flip back to page 45 and you are going to count, mark out, and color to match to show how many pieces of food are on each plate. What do you do if there are zero? You leave the boxes blank. Good job today, friends. Keep working towards hitting your learning target, and I will see you again for math tomorrow.